Hello, so it's a beautiful day in Victorville, California, and um, I thought I would do a little walkthrough of the garden and bring you guys along and show you what's um, which of the of the trees are awake. Um, so I think it's gonna be like 60. 65 degrees today so it's beautiful clear blue skies and um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a beautiful day um, I'm excited for um, spring I think spring has basically um, arrived here in my backyard here in this area um, so I have purchased um, a few um, new plants that I did get in the ground so I wanted to show you guys um yeah some of my new things I have growing in the garden and wow I'm looking at that um that peach tree and it's covered in bees it's just beautiful um so yeah the bees are pollinating the peach tree and maybe we'll have a nice crop this year um, but yeah, let me just bring you guys along and we'll take a look and do my routine inspection. I do like to come out um, almost every day and, um, you know, check up on the trees and see what's going on. So, um, but right now, like, I'm really distracted by the bee activity on that peach tree. Anyways, um, so let's start here in this corner of the garden and then we'll walk around. There's Lucas on the hammock. Hi, Lucas. Hi. Are you enjoying the sunshine? That's a nice little sunny spot right there. Anyway, so um, let me show you guys um, um, so back here, I still have to clean up a little bit um, in the corner. There's a few things I got to put away and then some stuff that needs to go in the trash and kind of clean up some of this, um, some of the weeds and the grasses that are growing. Um, but the, the citrus trees are doing wonderful. What, it's like nine o'clock right now and they're in sun. Oops, they're, they are getting some sun. You can see the, the shadows. Um, you can see where the shade is. Let's see, they are getting some sun and it's like nine o'clock right now. So nine, so they get a few hours. So I'm a little concerned about the amount of uh, direct sun that they're getting, but hopefully we're, um, we'll, we'll see what they do. But it, they just went in the ground like just last um, fall, I believe. Um, so we'll see. And we do have a, a Valencia, a navel orange and a bear slime. And we have a guava, the guava, all the leaves kind of um, dried up and um, uh, yeah, it wasn't too happy during the winter, but um, it's alive. So it'll leaf out again in a few weeks, probably. Uh, but yeah, so this is what my backyard looks like right now. I did, um, I have been working on cleaning, but I have, you know, more cleaning and um, there's always something to get done in the backyard. Uh, there's always something. Um, so I did um, um, clean up a little bit and like took care of some of the weeds. A lot of this uh, grass is just some of that seasonal, like like seasonal wild, um, cool season grasses mixed in with like um, a lot of weeds. Uh, but I'm kind of like really like liking the weeds and the green and um the ver there's a lot of vermuda in here um but it's dormant right now um but we have like those like wild like mustard uh we th that wild mustard and then there's like some other ground cover that has like little purple flowers and i don't remember all of the names but there it's just like a mixed lawn of weeds and grasses and vermuda and but it's looking pretty right now i did get um around to like uh, whacking it with a weed whacker and you know cleaning it up because the, there were um, the weeds can get out of control but it looks really pretty right now so um, over here in this little corner um, 
I'm trying to have some evergreens. I, I have been trying to add a lot more evergreens because we have a lot of deciduous trees. And um, the evergreens really do help with privacy. We do have this brick, um, this block wall, um, but um, that gives me privacy from like the single story homes. But like there's like two story, uh, two story homes or apartments or whatever. I don't know what they are, but um, so I do want some of these evergreens to I planted evergreens um, on the corners where I want more privacy. So when these grow up, hopefully, you know, 15 feet tall, um, they'll block, uh, they'll go over the wall and block some of those higher buildings and give me more privacy. Same with um, some of those two-story homes over there. Um, but, but yeah, so those are the evergreens. We have a, um, this one is a, Trifoliata. It's not a true citrus. It's like its own thing, um, but there there is a lot of um, hybrids. Um, but it's very thorny, and it is deciduous. So right now it hasn't leafed out, and it's actually never bloomed for me before. So maybe it'll bloom this um, spring. But it is starting to to. Um, I do see little buds um, swelling. Gotta be careful, but. There's a lot of little buds like where the um, thorns are, but anyways, um, yeah, so this is a, a blue, this is a native, um, a blue sage, sage, but it smells really pretty and it's getting bushy, it could get pretty big, um, so hopefully that continues to grow and I really like the color, it's a really pretty blue silvery color. Then we have the Awari Satsuma, we have the Pineapple Guava Evergreen, Awari Satsuma Evergreen, and the Blood Orange Evergreen. So we kind of have a little wrap around this corner that'll be evergreen. And you know, if you kind of, if you can envision this in a few years, well, this evergreen is going to be much taller, hopefully. Um, and so yeah, they, they did really good over the winter i think we're pretty much done with like the freezing temperatures um this is what it looks like right now i think we're pretty much done with the freezing temperatures so um the the citrus did good they made it through the winter although it was a pretty mild um very 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 mild pretty warm winter so nothing too extreme i think the coldest temperature and i'm not exactly 100 percent sure but i from what i remember i think we um the coldest temperature we had this year was like 26 degrees 26 27 and that's pretty good um for like one or two nights um so it was not bad because we i've had one or two years where we did uh get into the teens and that's when it's real bad and you start getting you know your pipes uh bursting and all that and, and we didn't have snow this year like last year we had some snow we usually have a little bit of a light snow but no not not a lot of snow we had a very wet winter we had a lot of rain um so this is um this is one of the new um new trees um we were kind of sad that we lost that we lost um the uh santa rosa plum and so my partner uh, bought two more plum trees so this is one of them these are european varieties this is the and i'm probably gonna mispronounce this but i don't know if that's french ray rainy rene claude dory it's a green it's a green fig and we pr he ordered this online and what is this trees of antiquity very nice trees it's in the ground it's not awake yet but that's a new tree um the peach tree is still alive the blooms are open and the bees i don't know if it'll if you'll see the bees but they are working hard pollinating all those flowers so pretty um I'm just happy we still have this tree. This is um, about a 10 year old tree. And one of my favorite trees. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's going through something. 
I've talked about it uh, before in other videos. I believe it's got some sort of burrowing insect, um, but it's trying to like, it's hanging in there and it's trying to heal itself. Um, so there's, it's just got um, some areas where it's been injured, like the cambium layer. So see, it's trying to grow over the damaged areas. But see those little holes? That's what makes me think that it's some sort of burrowing insect. But we'll see. Um, they're not very long-lived trees. And I think it's hanging in there. It's surviving. I, I haven't used like any chemical, like any like pesticides or anything like that. Because I don't, I, I think it's a bug. I think it's a bug, but it could be a virus. It could be some sort of virus or something. Um, but you know what? It's It's looking good. It's alive. Um, and hopefully we get to have this tree and, um, for a couple more years or many more years, but we'll, we'll see. Um, so the, the, the rosemary, it's gotten bigger. Forest, stop. It's gotten bigger and bushier. It's pretty. It, this was like a tiny little thing. I don't know if, it, um, uh, I'm sure it's, um, in another video, um, but this will get nice and bushy it probably is going to reach the top of the fence like it could be like four feet tall it could be taller and pretty wide um so that's not new i think that went in last year but this is new um this is a, a grape vine and you guys it's starting to it's awake it's starting to leaf out look at those pretty leaves it's got like a pink like a pink coloring to them to like the buds and the leaves as they start to to wake up um what variety is this oh uh, let's see what is this niagara niagara grape um and we have i put it in that corner so that we can maybe have it vine on the um on the chain link fence around the the dog enclosure. So I have two, four grapevines um, surrounding the enclosure. Um, so so those are new, the Niagara is new. Um, these are cuttings I got in the mail and I just reused some old pots I had. What is this? Let's see, Vermentino. Vermentino. So I just dipped the little cuttings in some rooting hormone, some potting soil, and planted them, potted them up. These just went in um, like a few days ago. Um, so hopefully some of them will root and I'll have some more grapes. They're all the same variety. There's six of them. Um, so yeah. Okay, in the dog enclosure, that uh, there's an evergreen there. That went in in uh, the fall. I think it was the fall. So it's a, um, what is it called? An Indian hawthorn, the big leaf Indian hawthorn. It is an evergreen, so that should provide some privacy. Um, I don't know how wide it's gonna get, but I'm hoping it gets, you know, pretty wide to, to, give, to create this like canopy here to block some of those buildings up, up high. Um, and it's evergreen, so it'll give me some beautiful winter interest um, when the other stuff is asleep. And I planted um, two of them in the dog run. There's one here, and then there's one over there. I'll show you right now. And they're doing pretty pretty well. I had mulberries in there last year, but I did uproot them and put them in a pot because... Um, I want to see how messy they are. I, I already know that they're extremely vigorous. So I want to see once they fruit how, how messy they're going to be. Um, so I want to be able to better manage and control them. Um, so I put them in pots and I, I'll show you right now. Okay, so this is where the, um, the uh, Santa Rosa plum used to be. And so now, in its place, I have a pear tree. The kefir pear. And it's, it's awake. See all the little buds starting to leaf out. And this came from trees, uh, trees of antiquity. 
yeah so we got two plums and a kefir pear so that is looking good just a little stick right now the fence is four feet tall so it's just a little bit under four feet tall and this was a bare root um same as that one same as the plum tree the plum tree is a lot smaller but um so we're gonna have a pear tree i've never had a pear in my backyard i i tried once or twice i think um and they just never did well they never i think i've always tried bare root they never woke up from dormancy so but this one's awake so um yeah um that's just like a little um spanish lavender i moved it a little bit closer um that's our little little christmas tree our living christmas tree we had um last um winter well this winter it's still not spring yet but yeah we we bought it and um it's in a pot it's growing it's it's alive um okay so you guys i'm super excited about this um i started really getting into these david austin roses and i started watching these videos and these roses are just beautiful so i got my hands on two of the, two bushes two rose bushes this is the um what's it called lark i think it's called the lark ascending it's like a really pretty peachy color rose um but look it's awake it's putting on new branches and new leaves as all the new growth so i'm really excited for this to grow and be like a really big beautiful bush you know to lined on um, the dog enclosure so hopefully it gets you know pretty big like four feet tall and wide or yeah so we'll see that should have beautiful beautiful blooms so I, that's new that ro that rose lark ascending that's new my fig tree it's not awake yet but let's see i'm walking backwards but there's buds this is a cutting, an unknown variety. I just took a cutting from um, a big tree close to my uncle's house. It was, um, it had fruit and the fruit was good. And so I took a cutting. Um, the, the tree was just kind of hanging over um, someone's property and onto the like an alleyway. I think it was an empty house. But anyways, um, so we have that fig tree there. Um, not new, but okay. Uh, this is still not awake. The jujube is my tallest tree. Not awake yet. Uh, desert willow, not awake. Desert willow, not awake. Fig tree. Um, this is new. I had another grape here, but I moved it. Because it wasn't doing so good, so I planted this one. Let me see what it's called. Oops. What is this called? Can it Canadian? Canadis? Can a Canadis seedless? I don't know. Um, and then that's it. So that's a new grape. And then here we have the another rose bush and this is also that lark ascend the lark ascending david austin rose and i really hope they do well because you guys these are super expensive like really expensive i don't even know how i um allowed myself to <laughs> purchase these um but i did because they're just so beautiful so i ho really hope they do well I don't want my money to be wasted but yeah these roses were really expensive I don't know they were expensive for me um maybe just depends on how wealthy you are but yeah I think that I paid like $65 for for each one or 64 64 something but um but should be worth it because it should be really beautiful I won't walk backwards because the sun so that's new so the, some of the, I got, I think I got three new grapes. Two, two, I think it was two, two or three. Um, yeah, the, the apricot is awake and it's, um, all of its blooms are not open yet, 
but you can start to see that like burgundy color of the blooms on the outside and then like the blooms are white when they're open i think there's a few open let's see yeah there's one there that's open and so they're not all open yet but um in a few days it'll be completely open i did um remove a big branch here and another branch here so i wanted to it still has a pretty shape i gotta be careful because i'm walking backwards but it still has a pretty shape but i needed um to prune it some so that the um Indian hawthorn behind it can have some space to really fill in that area so the dogs can have some shade and um, I can have some privacy once that you know that evergreen there gets nice and big and full but it they needed space you know so I did prune some of the branches that were going into the enclosure to give that an opportunity to really fill in you know and I'll give this one more of an opportunity to come out this way but you can really prune them to whatever your needs are if you need more space in the back you can do some pruning in the back if you need some branches out of your way i mean you can prune it so it's growing to like the left or to the right or straight up or shorter you can do lots of um lots of things you just kind of whatever your needs are so that's what that's looking like right now and here we have the other new plum tree hi lucas lucas hi baby and so um here we have another plum tree lucas trees of antiquity and this one is another european plum the maribel Nancy, Nancy Plum, Maribel, Nancy Plum. I think it's another green or it could be a yellow. I think it was a yellow. Um, my partner ordered them, so I'm not exactly, I don't remember exactly the details, but yeah, he was really bummed out that we lost the, the big Santa Rosa Plum. It was like nine years old or something like that. Um, but we lost it and now in its place, we have a pear tree which I'm excited about. Um, but because we were sad, we bought two more. So now we have three plum trees in the back. So we have, I, let me show you. We have the, the plum there, and then we have two figs, and they're kind of like in the line. So we have a plum, two figs, um, right in front of that little bird bath, and then another plum. So they just go make a straight line. So two, pl um, plum on the outside, plum on the outside, figs on the inside. Um, but yeah, that one's not awake yet. Uh, over here, do I have anything new? No, we have that grape. I just moved it. That rosemary was put in last year. Indian hawthorn is new. I think I told you about that. Anything new here? No. Nothing new there. And I don't think anything's awake there. The persimmon's not awake, the apple's not awake, but we do have those evergreens in the back. Trying to create some privacy here. So that right behind the deciduous trees, we have evergreens. We have the, the olive, um, that uh, silverberry, another pineapple guava, silverberry, another pineapple guava, and a hybrid of a orange and the trifolia, trifoliata. So those should make a nice little green hedge type of thing here to, can't wait till they grow to, to that point so that they're blocking those two-story homes over there. Okay, um, and then right over here, on like this side of the yard we'll go this way there's lucas he's awake he's enjoying the sunshine <laughs> are you playing a video game he didn't go to school today because he had an upset stomach um so the um 
This one's awake. This is a quince. I did prune the quince too. I'm not sure if I told you. I might have told you in another video, but the quince is awake. That's what it looks like right now. Show you the little buds. The crab apple's not awake yet. Here we have another pomegranate that is awake. And you can see all the little red tips starting to leaf out. They start off red, but then they turn dark green. Um, this, the other one, my other pomegranate over there is a, um, the wonderful variety and then this one's the pink satin variety so it's like a lighter color on the inside of the pomegranate so should be less stainy we have the pawpaw this is the one that's doing the best i think the other two i might have lost they they feel very dry but this one's doing great and it's always just done so much better than the others not awake my pistachio not awake my other pistachio not awake um i think i showed you guys all the new stuff so yeah i'm kind of like into roses i'm going through like a little rose phase so i did get more roses rose here a rose here a rose here these were from the like i think it was home depot big box store uh, i think they were like 15 bucks 15 dollars so not super expensive but they are leafed out or leafing out and it's a like buttery cream like a, a buttery yellow color really pretty um and i didn't mind paint the price was great so hopefully those get nice and full and here's another one there's another one so here's this little section here i think i've showed you the section before uh, the birds are nesting. They nest every single year um, right there. Lucas, the birds are back. They're making a nest. I saw a birdie going to the bird nest. They're probably having babies. See, they blew. They flew away. They're going to have a, a, a baby bird family. They're going to have eggs. I like to sit here and have coffee. Um, so there's nothing new here. We just have the... Um, this is my seedling loquat no fruit this year um, so it still has not fruited and I think it's like six years old that's my guess I have to go back and look at the older videos and try to figure out how old it is I think I need to prune a little bit right there to kind of balance the tree out it's a little bit too heavy on this side maybe like right cut that little piece off but it's a nice evergreen, so I do have some evergreens here. So once this gets big, it should give me some privacy from those homes over there because we're kind of down lower and that's like higher ground, so they're a little higher. But the um, other seedlings, so these two are seedlings. Um, this citrus tree is a yuzu. And it's doing amazing. And it what, three feet tall maybe? So the citrus did really good over the winter, but it was a mild one. But um, this plum tree, okay, you guys, it's beautiful. The um, uh, shiro, shiro plum. Look at how many blooms. It's going to be so beautiful when the blooms are open. It looked like a white cloud of just like a little white cloud look at all those it's, we're getting new leaves this is a very 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 heavy it has a very very heavy bloom set and fruit set but look at that shape that canopy very pretty see that now i don't have the pollinator which was the santa rosa but last year i got plums 
even without its pollinator. So there might be another plum tree in the neighborhood, another um, like Japanese or Asian variety. So yeah, I'm hoping to get plums. I did last year. So we'll see, but it's a really, really pretty shape. It's a little shady right here. The, the citrus did good, the Colomondin. Um, so that that's it. So I got, I, um, that's it for the new stuff. I got the roses. I got like three new fruit trees, the pear tree and the two European plums. Um, Uh, the two European plums, the pear tree, uh, and then I got some grape vines, um, and the roses. I think that's it. I still want to do some shopping for some more flowers to make this little area more, um, pretty. I, I'm, um, enjoying, um, getting some, like, I'm enjoying the flowers and, like, the little flower bushes and stuff like that. So, here are the the uh, mulberry this is a dwarf ever bearing mulberries these are the ones that i uprooted and put them in the pots because i'm a little worried about how messy they're going to be and there's the other one that one's just bigger um so yeah and instead i put the indian hawthorns because um i think these overwintered this is like the autumn sage and that's, I need to remember what that's called, but they overwinter just fine and they're getting ready to bloom. Like, and it's got like a really pretty peachy, peachy uh, yellow color, uh, orangey, orangey, peachy, pinkish. But so you can see all the little, the little buds. These are all going to turn into flowers. It's going to be really pretty. And then this autumn stage has these spikes with like red flowers that the hummingbirds love and so the, whatever was in here died so i put the rose in and it's starting to leaf out so i hope it does well it's not hmm, it doesn't look as good as the other two but it's okay but yeah there's like lots of little buds i did fertilize i have already fertilized um these flower beds and actually the all of my yard all the fruit trees um everything's been fertilized but there's a Nogami kumquat still looking really pretty. So you guys, the citrus in ground, which I don't think I have any potted citrus. Oh yeah, I do in the front. I have like one potted citrus. Everything else is in the ground and they all did good. They all made it through winter. So let me back up and show you how big that um, plum tree is now. See, when this is full, you, you won't be able to see those houses in the back. And I'm hoping we get more stuff here. And yeah. So that's it. Um, the pistachio is not awake yet, but it's going to be really pretty. Look how tall it's getting. See, this will block those buildings back there once it's full of leaves. And that's the female and then that's the male um my potted figs i have one there i have one in that corner oops sorry about that light i have one in that corner that's my favorite the violet de bordeaux that's the black jack it's still good um i have another little fig over there in that corner that hasn't really produced um for me yet but maybe this year yeah so a lot of stuff is awake some stuff is still not awake, but it's, um, it is March 8th and it's a beautiful day today. The sunshine just feels so good right here. Lucas, does the sun feel good? Nice and warm. Where's your hat? Where's your hat? You didn't want the hat? Okay, we're gonna, we're, you're gonna have a few more minutes of phone time and then we're gonna get off the electronics, okay? Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be like 65. I think tomorrow's gonna be 70 degrees. So it's just beautiful. Just just beautiful. Um, I'm excited. I spring feels like it's already here. 
even though it's not spring officially. I don't know when the official date of like the first day of spring, but I feel like it's already here in my area. Um, yeah, is that it? I think that I showed you guys all the new stuff. Um, yeah, so this this winter was nice because I did have a lot of those evergreens I started putting in. You know, basically, you know, we still had a lot of green and they're just kind of like in this corner and then like in that center, those two I got in the dog run and then in that corner and then we have green evergreens in this corner. So it, it did feel a lot nicer. Um, it did feel a lot nicer this winter. I didn't feel so, um, it's just nice to see something green and growing in winter. Cause it be like in the past, like I, it, almost everything was deciduous. So I just kind of, it made me feel like, um, I just couldn't wait to, for them to like wake up. Um, and then here, these are just like, um, what is this? Jasmine. So some jasmine in these pots. Jasmine here. I fertilized them for the season. I have more jasmine there. Hopefully they wrap around this porch. Um, in these containers, I have some pretty flowers. I think this is some sort of like iris. Um, I forgot the name of that one. But these are really pretty. They basically were like this beautiful all winter long. Look at those blooms. And I don't remember the name of them. But... Look how pretty they are. They look like that all winter long. They do like some shade, so they're perfect for this little porch area. That's like fertilizer in there. I need to get, I need to get the watering hose and water that in. I don't remember the name of this, but it's some sort of white flower. Single, really pretty. It's hard to remember all these names. And then this one, um, I think it's gonna have to bloom, but I think it's gonna have more blooms um but yeah that that's it guys that's it um so yeah springs around the corner and we're i hope everyone has a um wonderful uh day and i will see you on the next video bye look guys can you say bye bye <laughs> where's your head i can't see you Say bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Um, bye.